Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really, really well. Um, I'm filming this on Tuesday evening at like 10 p.m. So I'm speaking a bit quieter, I think, anyway. Um, and I just wanted to film, really. My birch box came today and I was like, mm, I'm in the mood to film right now. This came really quickly though. I got the email yesterday saying it's on its way. So normally it takes a few days, but no, it came today, which is amazing. Um, yeah, and so I'm filming it late at night on a Tuesday, um, even though you're not going to see this till Friday, so there's no rush, but I was just in the mood to film, so why not? Um, this is a new top, actually, that I've got on right now from ASOS, and I really liked the lacy sleeves, so I bought it. It's just plain black. Right, let's actually look inside the box. So this is uh, the Birch Box for the month of January 2020. Um, this is in collaboration with Rochelle Humes, who was in The Saturdays and is married to Marvin. Is that his name? I think it is. Um, and yeah, I've already had a look at the leaflet. And the theme of the box this month is just the way you are. So um, they say that, you know, Rochelle is a natural beauty champion. Um, and they are, you know, the, celebrating this month, us loving ourselves just the way we are. So that's very nice. Um, I'm going to do the sneak peek for February, like straight away, because... Um, normally I save it to the end and normally I forget so I'm gonna do it now um, the sneak peek for next month uh, we get to pick between two shades of a blusher by Botanic Beauty now from Botanic Beauty we've had a brow gel that I really liked and then I also think but I can't guarantee I think we had a mascara and I really didn't like it I think it was from Botanic Beauty anyway um, but yeah we get to pick between uh, these two here, this darker one is called Darling Dahlia, yeah, and then the lighter one is Pink Freesia, and yeah, I feel like blushes are a nice little pick, I feel like with blushes it doesn't really matter on the brand that much, and whether they're expensive or cheap, because I feel like there are a lot of good blushes in the drugstore, and I, I don't know, I just feel like it it's easy to find a good blusher rather than find like a good foundation or something. So um, yeah, I feel like I've got high hopes for them, you know, so we'll see what that's like next month. But anyway, let's look in the actual leaflet. There is one thing I've seen that I'm very excited about. So I may as well just show you that one first. Um, I'm very excited about this. In this box, we have got a jade roller. Um, if you watch any of my videos, you will know that for Christmas and my birthday this year, I had on my birthday list a jade roller or a rose quartz one, I think. I can't remember if I said just jade or rose quartz, either or. Um, and I didn't get it for Christmas or my birthday. So then I thought, okay, that's fine. I'll buy myself one like in January. But I didn't need to, did I? <laughs> so, firstly, I love that it comes in a box. And here it is. Oh my goodness, oh, I'm so, oh, it's nice and cold, as you would expect. I am so excited to use this with my skincare. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited, honestly. Oh my God, I can't believe it. This is a full size and RP's for £15.50. Um, I did see one on Boots um, just before Christmas that was like, I don't know, £10, I think. Um, this jade roller is a quick fix for daily skincare struggles, boosting radiance and tightening pores, as well as a longer term investment for improving elasticity and fine lines. Perfect for easing stress at the end of a long day or reducing puffiness in the morning, simply roll the tool across your forehead and under your cheekbones and jaw for a fast track to flawless skin. Our top tip, keep your roller in the fridge, that's a good idea, and use it over a sheet mask for a for an extra soothing feel. Oh, lovely. I know Emma Latham, because I bought one of these for my swap box with Emma Latham, and um, she uses it um, on top of sheet masks. Oh God, I'm just so excited. You know things like this though, you know like rollers, like jade rollers and rose quartz rollers and stuff like that. Are they actually, have they been proven? to actually do something, or is it just hearsay? I don't know. 
but I'm willing to believe in the power if it will help me look amazing. I'm just going to probably do this all video to be honest. This is just, it's my favourite thing. I don't even need to show you anything else really because this is just my favourite thing. Oh my goodness. Oh, lovely. I think the only thing that would make it better is if it was a double-ended one and the other side had a small one so you could get like proper under your eyes. But that is just me being a bit picky. But I can't believe how it's worked out that this was on my list. I didn't get it. And I was going to buy myself one and I didn't. Yet. And then I've got one in my box. It's amazing. I'm very, very happy with that. So yeah, lovely that we got a little jade roller. Um, the next thing is the thing that we got to pick between. And I didn't pick because I'm not going to keep this. This is, it actually feels empty. <laughs> um, I really like the packaging. It looks like a carton of milk. This is by the Beauty Crop and it's a glow milk in the shade Pear Pressure. And uh, full size RP is for £15, but this is just a little one. I think I'm just going to open it just to check that there's actually something inside because it really doesn't feel like there is. But this is, it says glow milk, but it's a liquid highlighter. Um, oh, it's got a little thing from Rochelle, Rochelle here that says, highlighters are one of my favourite things. So I picked three shade options to ensure you get the perfect colour for you. Lovely. That's good. Um, maximum glow with minimal effort. Look no further than this gold-hued liquid highlighter. Enriched with coconut and argan oils, the hydrating formula leaves behind a dreamy, dewy glow. All it takes is three dots on your cheekbones, brow bones, cupid's bow, and collarbones for envious radiance. And there is something in here, but it's tiny. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It is actually tiny. I don't want to struggle to get it out. I don't know if you're going to be able to see like the lid of it. It just looks tiny. So, okay, that is going to go in my giveaway. Um, I don't really use liquid highlighters very much and I've already got like, at the moment in my cupboard, in my drawers, I've got like two or three liquid ones, two stick ones, and I just, I don't really use them. So this one can go in my giveaway. Um, I really like the packaging though, how it's like rose gold, it looks like a carton of milk, it's so cute. So there's that. Next is something by Laura Geller and this is an Eye Dew Cream Shadow Crayon in the shade Pewter. Um, we have had a few kind of like crayon eyeshadows before and I've never really got along with any of them. The only one I've ever really got on along with is one by Mally, which I really, really liked. Um, but I find with cream eyeshadow like crayons they um just don't because they're all creamy they like wear away in the crease or they crease in your crease and yeah I just don't really find them the best to be honest but I've never tried a Laura Geller one and I'm always keen to try like new brands because I'd hate to dismiss something just because one brand did it rubbishly but this is the shade, it's like this brownie bronzy shade, would be good for kind of all over the lid. I'm going to try it, I'm going to let you know what I think of it, obviously. This is full size and RP is for £13. Um, it just says, you'll be pleased to know that perfectly applied eyeshadow or diffused liner, actually that's something I think they could be good at, being like a, a smudgy eyeliner, um, doesn't call for a multitude of tools. Whether you want a sheer wash of colour or a dramatic smoky eye, this metallic bronze chubby stick has you covered with its easy to wear shade. I do feel like bronzy browns kind of are an easy shade because they'll go with the pale girls because we're going to put them in our crease, but they'll go with like people with deeper skin because they're like a bronzy colour. Um, yeah, yeah, it's simple I think. I think we do get a lot of bronzy ones to be fair. Um, Ideal for beauty beginners and pros alike, the creamy formula blends easily and stays put all day. Use the pointed lip, pointed tip to line your eyes or blend across your entire lid. Lovely. I will let you know at the end of the month what I think of it, but if I'm honest, I don't have high hopes. <laughs> um, next we have something by Green Frog Botanic. I spoke about these in 2018 because uh, we got sent one of their body washes and it was horrendous. I hated the body wash so much. 
and this is the second thing I've ever had from them before. Um, a full size of this body lotion, RP's for 9 95 This is 50ml and it's a natural body lotion in sweet argan formula with 85% natural ingredients. This is what it looks like if you're like into natural stuff. Green Frog Botanic. Um, Rochelle says, I hate dry skin so I'm loyal to my moisturiser. This is such a good little one and it smells so good. Um, nourish your dry skin with this hydrating body lotion. It smells, it blends sweet smelling argan oil and moisture boosting glycerin. That's quite cool. Um, gentle formula intensively softens and hydrates for 48 hours. Never leaves a sticky residue and comes in a fully recyclable bottle. Wave goodbye to winter skin. Cool. I am going to put a little bit on my arm now. Um, and yeah, we will see. Okay, that does smell really nice. That does smell gorgeous, actually. Oh my god. It's thinner than I thought it would be, and it hasn't left a white cast on my arm at all. It seems to be go blending in actually really nicely. And smells amazing. Okay, I'm actually quite excited to put this all over my body. The only thing I'm going to say is that when you've got a squeezy lid, but it's not a squeezy tube, it's a plastic tube, and so it's going to be quite hard to squeeze it all out because the, the plasticky bit is quite hard. But other than that, yeah. Smells lovely actually, so that's good. Um, and the last thing is, where is it? Here. Um, some little eye patches by Skin Iceland. These are Hydrocool Firming Eye Gels. This We have one pair of eye gels here. I got a pack of these in a Look Incredible box like one or two years ago, like a pack of eight pairs, um, which would be like 25 pounds. Um, so, I don't know how much just one pair is, but these are really, really nice because one, they are cooling underneath your eyes, but also the side that doesn't touch your skin is like a fabric and it's so soft and smooth and it, it's really, really nice. Plus the eye gels actually like stick to where you've put them. They don't slide down. They're not thin and covered in serum. They're just really, really cooling. I really, really like these. I like them a lot. Um, we're all about refreshing, recharging and taking some well-deserved me time, me time in the new year. I can't talk today. So we can't get enough of these soothing under eye gels. Made with hexapeptide technology, skin restoring and nourishing ingredients, the hard working patches depuff, brighten and counteract crepey skin in a flash. Um, after 10 minutes, peel away to reveal brighter, firmer skin. Lovely. Um, yeah, I love them, so I'm I'm always happy to see them, really. Would have been nice to get more than one set, but then again, we only ever really seem to get in Birchbox, like, one set, don't we? So, that's me being a little bit high expectations there. And then we've also got this little voucher, 20% uh, off your next purchase in New Look. Um, valid in in-stores and online, which is good. Um, because I find that New Look have a better range online than in my local one, to be fair. 20% um, off from Wednesday the 1st of Jan to Saturday the 29th of Feb. Lovely. That's cool. Decent. <laughs> so that's everything that was in my Birchbox this month. Um, with Birchbox you have beauty profiles, so everyone kind of gets different products. Some of them are like standard, so I think Jade Roller, there's one in every single box, but um, other products will be like uh, dependent on what you said your hair type was or your skin type was or um, stuff like that. So um, don't just watch mine and not watch anyone else's. Make sure you watch other people's and see what they got too. But just to recap, we've got the lovely Jade Roller here that I'm going to be like using all the time. I need to keep this um, in my bedside table, definitely. Um, the little liquid highlighter that I'm going to put in a giveaway, the eye um, gel masky things, um, which I love, so that's always good to have them. The body lotion that I wasn't expecting much from, but smells really nice and feels nice on my arm as well. And then the um, shadow eyeshadow crayon, which we'll see what it's like when it's on the eyelid for the whole day. Um, yeah. Overall, I'm actually quite happy with this month's box. 
I think the Jade Roller has just won it for me, to be fair. Uh, what do you think? Have you tried any of these before? Would you get the box from seeing this video and seeing this stuff? Would you buy the box? It's £12.95, including the postage and packaging. Yeah, let me know. Um, but that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry if I am coming across really, really quiet. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to be nice to my neighbours and even though I am filming at 10pm I'm trying to be a bit quieter than I normally am um, because I'm caring like that <laughs> um, but yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in a few days in my next video